Well, hello there. Uh, I just took delivery from Bitware of this uh, rather spiffy, shiny uh, Vectorpath acceleration card uh, using my handy dandy uh, iFixit toolkit. I mean, you knew I was going to take the cover off, didn't you? So, here we go. Uh, this features an Acronix Speedster 70 FPGA. Uh, you'll notice I'm wearing anti-static precautions because I once had a shocking experience. Uh, this little beauty is incredible. It's got a network on chip which gives you a theoretical device maximum of 20 terabits per second uh, data path. Uh, we've got uh, a 1 times 2 gigabit, 200 gigabit Ethernet interface there and a 1 times 400 gigabit Ethernet in, uh, interface there. Uh, but these can be uh, have multiple breakout options, so you could have uh, two 100 gigabits, uh, four 100 gigabits, or four, I think it's 10, <laughs> 25, 40 and 50 gigabits, and eight, 10, 25, 40, 50 gigabits. Um, you've got eight gigabits of uh, DDR memory. Um, oh, what else have we got? Well, there's P PCI. Uh, express uh, interface there so we can plug it into a workstation like the one behind me. Um, we've got uh, an Oculink, well but there's also GPIO, you've got uh, access to some of the GPIOs on the uh, FPJ so you can do some you know, clever little low level things. We've got an Oculink interface which lets us do FPJ to FPGA uh, deterministic high bandwidth direct uh, communications. Uh, it's got two timing inputs here so that we can synchronize across multiple boards and scale everything. Uh, and overall, they've put a huge amount of thought into this. Um, you can either buy it as a standalone card or you can buy it as a, a Dell or HP workstation that's got the card loaded in it directly from uh, Bitware. Uh, it comes with an ecosystem of design tools and everything. Oh, and the other thing uh, that's really interesting about this FPGA, this is absolutely ta tailored for data path acceleration, uh, but also for AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning applications. And it's got thousands of these machine learning blocks in it that have got uh, fixed point multipliers, like 32 fixed point multipliers, uh, floating point multipliers, you can fracture the multiplication, uh, different bit widths and everything. This supports all the major standards like TensorFlow and um, everything. So this is, this is going to be a fantastic card for a wide range of uh, acceleration functions. Not just data center, although it could be good for that, but also AI, machine learning, uh, all sorts of things. So the next, all I'm thinking of now is how I'm going to what am I going to accelerate with it? Uh, watch this space. Cut! <laughs>